we're all worried about our metabolism and would love it to be a little faster. Everybody I know, especially people who are now like me in their 50s, and you can feel it slow down. You know, for sure, I can feel it slow down. I'm not allowed to eat as much, but I still want to. It's so it's so hard. I'm still so hungry all the time, but I know it's slow because the same amount of intake every day produces weight gain where it didn't before. So it's just sad. It's just sad, Kate. Well, let me tell you something that that is actually good news is it is kind of there's a lot of myths around weight loss and metabolism. And it is actually a myth that your metabolism even has speeds. And what you expressed is exactly what made people think, just assume that their metabolism has speeds is because it feels like it's harder to lose weight and it's become easier to gain. But it has to do with uh, your ability to burn your body fat, which is something related to metabolic flexibility, which is something that um, I'm sure Mark can speak to that as well. Just It means that you need to be able to burn your body fat easily between meals because If you're hungry, uh, you know, between meals, if you get hungry between meals and you feel like you need to snack, that is a red flag. It's a red flag that you're not burning your body fat because if you want to lose weight, then going between meals should be your best friend. You should be burning your body fat, but most people are not. And they're not because their metabolism is damaged by this stuff in our diet that we're all eating in massive quantities called seed oils that nobody has told you are bad for you. I'm so into the seed oil discussion. We are 100% spending a bunch of time on that because I feel like, okay, elimination of just the choice of a certain food, that's it. That's easy, right? You don't have to get rid of all oils, but there are certain oils we're eating that we shouldn't be. But let me ask you about that, Mark, because when I when I looked at the Mark diet, one thing I did notice was um, there are no snacks on there. So to Kate's point, is that hard? Because I, I will say for me, and I think it's probably because I'm not eating the right stuff, it is very hard for me not to snack between lunch and dinner. And like you, I'm an intermittent faster. I know you don't eat before noon or 1230. So I breakfast isn't really on the menu for me most days, although some days I have it. Uh, anyway, snacking is really hard for me to avoid. So how are you? Are You don't have that problem? You go right from lunch to dinner without having hunger? Uh, yes, I, I do that. And you know, to fill in a little bit of what uh, Kate said, this this concept of metabolic flexibility really is the holy grail of not just weight loss, but health. If you can develop metabolic flexibility, if you can train your body through choices of food that you eat and types of exercise that you choose to do, if you can train your body to become metabolically flexible, you can train it to derive energy from whatever substrate happens to be available. So if you eat a meal and there's carbohydrate in that, you can burn the carbohydrates as glucose or as glycogen in your muscles. Uh, you can burn the fat in that meal or you can burn the stored body fat when you choose not to eat. So metabolic flexibility is when you achieve kind of that that state, you are now uh, able to go longer periods of time without eating, which includes not needing to snack. So um, this this you, you mentioned um, intermittent fasting. I call it a compressed eating window. Uh, some people call it intermittent eating, but it's basically hmm. this idea that that when you're metabolically flexible, when you're burning fat, when you're deriving energy from your own body fat stores, and that's magical because then you're burning off your body fat, you're literally using it as fuel, which is what it was intended to do. Then um, the biggest um, issue of all starts to dissipate and that is hunger, appetite and cravings. Once your body knows that it can get energy from stored body fat and not have to rely on a fresh supply of calories every two or three hours, your body seamlessly goes into this mode of burning stored body fat without a shift in blood sugar, without getting hangry, without a, 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 a mood swings or any of the other sort of um, symptoms that people complain about when they skip a meal. Hmm. So it's, it's now what we're getting into is, okay, how, you know, how do we uh, arrive at this metabolically yeah. flexible mm-hmm. body? Yes. How do we and teach a, our bodies this it, very it, important it, skill? Of course, but it's, and it's like good news, bad news, right? The good news is, well, I'll, I'll start with the bad. The bad news is you got to do the work, right? You, you're okay. going to have to eliminate certain foods. You're going to have to um, orchestrate a way of eating uh, that, uh, th- you know, that may be different from what you're used to. The good news is it's very easy if you know the right tools, if you have the right strategy. It's easy. Um, it's delicious. I mean, you don't have to really sacrifice taste or flavor for any of this. 
And, and, and over time, what happens is you, because you're eating now more nutrient dense foods, uh, as opposed to the, um, you know, the, the highly caloric dense foods without nutrition that most people in, in this country are consuming, the body then says, I, I'm, I'm, I've got all of the, um, all the macronutrients I need. I've got all the fat, protein, and carbohydrate. I've got all the micronutrition I need. I don't need to eat every couple of hours. And so the first thing that really I find uh, disappears is this need to snack between meals. And that's kind of step one of this notion that in order to get rid of our stored body fat, in order to lose weight, which is what you know most people will, will describe it as, we need to burn off the, the body fat that we've stored over the years as a result of eating too much food, simply eating too much food. How do you, how, like, as a practical matter, how do you, do you train your body to, to eat the fat that's on your body as opposed to whatever fuel you've put in your body? Because if you eat, let's say, breakfast or you eat lunch, that food takes a while to digest. That energy is in your body. So isn't your body necessarily going to eat that fuel, that fuel first, those carbs, those proteins, those fats, before it res- goes to your body fat? Like, I always wonder, how do I make it get to the body fat and, and get past the food that I had to put in there, Mark? Um, well, you have to you have to withhold some of those energy substrates. You have to decide either not to eat, like to skip a meal once in a while, too too fast. Uh, or uh, there's a diet based around the ketogenic principle. So you, and, and I've written a couple of books on the keto diet, um, which is a way of training your body to become what we call fat adapted. So once you withhold carbohydrate, and now you're telling your body hey, you're not going to be getting all of the glucose that we've been feeding you every two or three hours for the last 20 or 30 or 50 years. Now we're going to have to go into plan B, which everybody has this this blueprint in their body. Everybody has the ability to build the metabolic machinery to be better at burning fat. We just never give it the opportunity. So that's part of that work that I'm talking about. There are no real hacks around this. You will have to, in order to develop metabolic flexibility, you will have, have to selectively remove certain things from your diet. It may be, and and I think most of us know, removing sugars is probably appropriate for just about everybody. We eat way too much sugar. Um, I would say removing starchy uh, processed carbohydrates, mostly processed grains, uh, pies, cakes, cookies, crackers, cereals, things like that. Remove them. And as Kate alluded earlier, you come down to Um, a list of very healthy and natural foods, meat, fish, fowl, eggs, nuts, seeds, vegetables, some fruit, some starchy tubers. Uh, And over time, when the brain gets the notion that you're not going to be delivering it fresh glucose every two or three hours, breakfast, a snack, lunch, a snack, dinner, and a a midnight snack, um, the body has all of these amazing genetic switches that it turns on that says, okay, We're going to get ready to burn more fat. We never had to before now, but now we're going to get ready to burn more of the stored body fat and call upon those reserves, those energy reserves that we've been building up for years and and burn those um, instead of the plate on the food. So when you say, um, you know, how do you train your body to burn the fat as opposed to the breakfast? I say, don't eat the breakfast. If you wake up in the morning and you're not hungry, there's no reason to eat breakfast. Breakfast is you know, it's been sold as the most important meal of the day. Uh, it's not. Uh, and most of the people who get into uh, this idea of uh, metabolic flexibility or a compressed eating window will say, if I, have, if, I, if I wake up with all the energy I need, why would I need to eat? This is an opportunity for my body to get 500 calories from body fat between now and the first meal I have at maybe lunch or, or one o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, Genucel has extended your chance to get their most popular package for 60% off at Genucel.com. And during this limited time opportunity, get their brand new Ultra Retinol Cream for maximum anti-aging benefits with your purchase. Genucel's one-of-a-kind formula can deliver all the anti-aging benefits of retinol without any of the harsh side effects. Say hello to looking your best and goodbye to fine lines, wrinkles, crow's feet, under eye bags, and even red blotchy skin. Results you will love, guaranteed, or your money back. That's the GenuCell promise. 
Join Jenny Sell's Best in Class Rewards Program at checkout, and you will get an extra 10% off your order. You will also receive a complimentary sample gift set. Go to JennyCell.com slash MK60 now for up to 60% off world-class skincare. And as if all that were not enough, right now, their most popular package includes an extra JennyCell product free. Go to JennyCell.com slash MK60. That's G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash MK60. Check it out. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.